Good afternoon. Good afternoon, friends. I'm bringing you this uh, another afternoon live. Uh, starting today, actually, I'm starting a kind of a new series. I've done some uh, uh, afternoon lives on nutrition. Starting today, I'm starting a short series on women and health. Women and health. You know, we, we know now that uh, many women in their 40s and 50s actually start to feel tired, start to feel lack of energy, start to develop high blood pressure, start to develop pre-diabetes. Many actually women in their 30s and 40s and 50s develop type 2 diabetes. Many of them are obese. Actually, in America, uh, obesity is almost up to about 42% of Americans. If you look at the African-American women, after age 65, almost... Uh, Almost 50% of African-American women have uh, obesity. Obesity can lead to many, many chronic illnesses, so we need to work on that. Uh, many women actually feel that they are out of balance. Many of them have uh, difficulty in sleeping. Many of them in their 30s and 40s and 50s have lost uh, any uh, sex drive. They all, their libido has gone down. They feel like they are not getting their work done in a day. They feel like they are not focused. Their vitality has gone down, their energy has gone down. All this thing can be fixed. Matter of fact, women in their 30s, 40s, and 50s don't have to settle for less. They can be vibrant, they can be, they can be young again. And we will do it together over the next uh, uh, two to three the different uh, live series about 10, 15 minutes every day. Uh, many women feel that they go through mood swings. They go through anxiety attacks. They go through at times almost like a depression. Actually, depression in America is almost one in four. 25% of Americans have depression. Almost 10 to 15% of women are on antidepressant. And that all needs to be changed, but it's all fixable. It's all easily correctable. Um, we are going to discuss how you lower your stress, your day-to-day -day stress. Uh, uh, you don't need to reach out for you don't need to see your doctor. If you follow some of the guidelines I'm gonna show you over the next two weeks, you definitely can turn around your life. You can feel young again, you can feel vibrant again, you can be productive, you can actually even start having uh, more uh, financial uh, income and stability. So let's talk about it. We will be talking about some individual programs. We'll be also talking about what we can do as a lifestyle changes. We'll about what kind of supplements you can take. We'll also talk about uh, what kind of you can, we can also talk about some of the newer things like bioidentical hormones. We'll also talk about uh, hormone imbalance, including imbalance of cortisol hormone, uh, imbalance of estrogen, progesterone, of thyroid hormones, imbalance insulin so we'll talk about all the different hormones including even testosterone which many women don't realize plays a large role in women's health we'll talk about facial hair excessive hair growth we'll talk about polycystic ovarian disease so i'm setting a stage for women's health over the next two to three weeks i'll be doing 10 15 minute live every day let's start with an example example of my real patient this is a real story this is a real patient uh, let's talk about Kathy. Kathy is actually a 55-year-old, about 5 feet, 6 feet tall, uh, 250 pounds of weight. Her waist diameter is 42 inches, so she definitely is overweight, obese. Her body mass index is about 30. She has high blood pressure. She's pre-diabetic. She's actually already on antidepressant for last six months, which was prescribed by her by primary care physician. She actually feels lack of energy. She's tired every afternoon. Her sleep is disturbed. She's not very productive at work. She feels like she's losing her game. And this is one of the common, common scenario I see in many, many young women in their 30s, 40s, and 50s I see. So this is really, really a major, major ongoing issue in many women patients I see and many women patients in our country. Uh, 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 her cortisol level probably was high. We did not check it, but I assume that the way she was feeling symptoms, she was having high cortisol levels and chronic stress. Her vitamin level was very low. It was almost a, a 10 to 15 or 20 range. Uh, her sex drive essentially was zero. Her uh, sleep, like I said, was very poor. She fell down and depressed all the time, and she was having stress pretty much throughout the day. So what did we do? We just started with the healthy lifestyle changes. I asked her to make some simple changes 
started with eating whole food plant-based diet without any oil. We asked her to have only about 10% calories from animal products. So she cut down her animal products, including meat, fish, and dairy to no more than once or twice a week. Most of her meals were plant-based meals. Uh, she actually completely avoided sugar. She completely avoided any oil. Uh, she started taking two tablespoons of flax seeds. This is a real story from one of she started taking vitamin D. Initially, she was loaded with vitamin D, uh, 50,000 units once a week. And then she was taking 5,000 units of vitamin D every day. She started taking vitamin B12. Uh, she started uh, exercising 20 minutes and gradually built up 20 minutes of walking, 20 minutes of weight training. Uh, she started going to sleep early on time at 9, 30, 10 o'clock. She started staying in the bed for about eight hours. Even though initially her sleep wasn't a complete seven, eight hour sleep, but gradually exercise with eating less or no processed food, her sleep started to improve. She actually started doing about 20 minutes of meditation also. And with all this simple technique, which was pretty much at no cost, without going to any doctor, without taking any new medication, she tried this thing for three months. And let me give you the results. In three months, she lost about 10 pounds. That was a 10 pounds per month. 10 pounds per month. Her waist diameter went down by seven inches. She started fitting into, you know, uh, 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 lesser size clothes. Uh, she actually was able to get off her blood pressure medication. She was actually no longer a pre-diabetic. She feels great. She has a sparkle in her eyes now. Her sex drive has improved. She's much more productive at work. Matter of fact, she got even a promotion at work. She has taken larger responsibility and actually feeling and happier and healthier just in three months. So let me tell you, this thing is possible. This thing is doable by any person, man or woman, but more so for the woman. Because in women, hormone imbalance is a lot more of an issue. We know. In, when it comes down to thyroid disorder, women have almost 15 times more chance of having thyroid disorder than a man. Women also have many disorders in terms of cortisol. We also know that depression is much more common, almost 1.5 to twice more common in women. We know anxiety attacks per week is also almost 1.5 to two times more common than men. So definitely we need to talk about women health as a separate, separate science, as a separate, separate uh, 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 medical topic, because we cannot treat men and women equally. Men and women have different hormonal uh, issues. We need to treat them separately. We need to go into women uh, medical science itself. Uh, fortunately, some of the recent trials are including many women. When I was in medical school, even as early, 30, 25, 30 years ago, most of the research trial for medications included men, typically a white man. And that fortunately is changing now, thanks to you know our great women empowerment uh, people who are doing in the, in the country. So that's a great feeling. So uh, let me tell you, it's easy to reset your hormones. It's easy to uh, lower your cortisol level. We will talk about some simple techniques as we go. Uh, it's, it's definitely possible for in the 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, even 70s, to feel very vibrant, to become lean person, to have a proactive approach to the health, uh, to feel healthy and happy, to get off all the medications actually, uh, to feel successful, not have any stress in life, feel very fit and very uh, uh, athletic. Uh, and this thing actually is possible and is doable. Uh, this will not be a quick fix approach. You cannot overnight achieve all those goals. You cannot become healthy and happy in one week. It will require significant commitment from all the women. We're going to talk about it over the next two to three weeks. But we don't need a bariatric surgery to lose weight. We don't need more pills. We don't need more procedures. We don't need more doctor's visit. This can be done this can be done by women themselves. This can be done by every person themselves. We don't need more involvement. This is easily doable. We're going to do it together. I've been promoting this for the last six months in terms of living healthy, living happy, and we'll do it together. Best strategy, obviously, is prevention. So, in my opinion, before any 
unhealthy issue starts before any disease happens, you prevent it and you actually become very proactive. It's easy to prevent diabetes and diabetes treat a full-blown diabetes when your pancreas is burned out. It's easy to prevent high blood pressure by becoming lean, by not eating salt, and by doing meditation, by having regular sleep, by not drinking alcohol, then treat a full-blown high blood pressure with three or four medications. In my practice, I've seen over the last three years, so many of my patients with just simple lifestyle changes can get off many of their blood pressure medications, can get off their diabetes medication. This is all doable this is all evidence based this is all based on science this is not something uh, something of a you know a, a medicine uh, a, a treatment which works only in theory this is really a proven approach this works in thousands and millions of people and it's definitely doable for all of you so let's do it um, uh, we will talk about uh, how to balance your next a few days uh, we'll also talk about how how to prevent feeling crummy feeling irritable, uh, having a, a very low stress resilience. We'll also talk about different menstrual disorders, including uh, menstrual pain. We'll also talk about uh, uh, you know, some of the other women issues, including feeling a dryness of a vagina, uh, feeling poor libido, and also having lackluster orgasm. All this thing, we will talk about it as we will go. Uh, in my opinion, this is all fixable. This is all something with a healthy lifestyle, with certain supplements, with certain bioidentical hormones. So we'll talk all this thing over the next uh, 15, 20 days as we go. I'm committing myself to talking about women and women health. I'm talking about uh, how to live long, how to live happy. Many women, particularly you know, in their 50s and 60s, feel like the life is over. Their, their, uh, their role as a person is uh, over. Uh, they are done with as a spouse. They are done as a mom. They are done as a family member. And many of them actually have given up on the fun of the life. In India, for example, many women in their sixties feel like they are ready to just uh, you know sit and do nothing, and they are ready to pretty much uh, you know give up to pretty much die. That is not necessary. With the current science, current medical science, with all the knowledge we have, with the healthy lifestyle changes. Every woman live up to 80s, 90s, and 100s and very happy and very healthy. So let's work together. Let's empower every woman to get healthier, to get happier, and live long. So I will be producing uh, 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 this kind of 10, 15 minute long uh, talk on women health over the next 15 to 20 days. So please stay tuned. We are growing on our page now. We have almost 86, 87,000 followers. So please like our page. Please invite your friends and family to like our page. Uh, we are also on YouTube. This video will be on YouTube. So watch it when it's available on YouTube. Thank you.